this regulator is unique to the Evol. Uh, it was designed to work with the Evol, so it's not generic in any way. Uh, it won't work in any other guns. It's designed to fit uh, the Evol chassis, or the Evol receiver rather, and the Evol tube. So uh, the regulator design is uh, internally adjustable, and uh, we'll show you some of the parts here. So we have a regulator body, we have a regulator adjuster, and we have what we call the spool, or some people may call it the piston. So one unique thing about our regulator that we do that I don't know, maybe others do it, but I've not seen it is, we do not run a flat seat. We run a tapered seat. So I don't know if you can zoom in on that, but the actual seat in the regulator piston or spool is tapered. And the reason for that is you get a lot more contact area for sealing. The tapered has about three times the area as a flat seal, and it's much less prone to damage. Because of that area is much greater, it makes the seating surface much stronger because we have more area for the amount of force that's being put upon it. Uh, when people talk about regulator creep, uh, there's two places you get regulator creep from. One is the seat seal. So if you have a seal here where this piston comes in and touches and it's leaking at all, any like one molecule of air, that will start to cause regulator creep. And the interesting thing about creep is when it, you start to creep, it's a progressive thing. The more it creeps, the faster it creeps and then uh, it basically will destroy the seat at some point because what's actually happening is air is bypassing your seal and it's putting additional pressure on the piston as your regulator set point goes up, up, up and that will put extra pressure on the seal here and with a flat seal you'll see that little round indentation that you get. With a tapered seal it can actually absorb quite a bit of pressure and you might end up with a slightly higher uh, set point if you've had a, a leaky seal, but generally it won't destroy itself. Um, another thing about our regulator is it's completely vented um, to, the, to the atmosphere. Everywhere there's high pressure uh, the, on the O-ring, like the, like the uh, low pressure side here for the plenum, this side is vented to the atmosphere. The high pressure side from the uh, reservoir, this side is vented to the atmosphere. On our adjuster, the high pressure side of the adjuster is vented to the atmosphere and then the atmospheric area in between where these uh, uh, Belleville washers sit is also vented to the atmosphere. So you never have a situation where there's equal pressure or differential pressure on an O-ring and that helps a lot with the sealing issues and uh, creeping issues. The second place a regulator will creep um, would be if one of your adjuster O-rings is slightly leaking that will cause uh, air to bypass and cause creep. So by atmospheric venting on both sides of these O-rings, it will eliminate the, the place or the ability for there to be uh, equal pressure on an O-ring. And when an O-ring's got equal pressure on both sides, it's not gonna seal. It, it is basically sitting there neutral in equilibrium. And it won't seal until there's a differential pressure. And that little slight difference between Neutral and differential will always bypass some air. So that's why every O-ring on this regulator is, by, is uh, vented to the atmosphere. Um, another thing about our regulator is we use uh, springs that are made for us. Um, they come from the factory polished. These have been uh, factory stamped and tumbled, so they don't need to be sanded or polished or lubricated. Um, they're, they're good to go just the way we get them from our manufacturer. Uh, our regulator is a pretty wide set point. You can go down from about 1,000 PSI on the low side up to 3,000 on the high side. Uh, all that is within range of the adjustment mechanism.